Welcome back, kids. It's STEM Saturday. Hold on to your goggles. Today we're going to see how thunderstorms are made with ice and hot water. And what color is the ice going to be? Blue. What color is the hot water going to be? Red! Alright. You excited? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get to it. Last week, we talked about what causes clouds and rain. Well, as we know, sometimes that rain is part of a thunderstorm. But thunderstorms require a few more ingredients, specifically unstable air and lift. The unstable air is the warm, sticky humidity we feel sometimes days before it rains. This air is full of moisture. The lift is one of a few things that forces the air to move upward, such as mountains, a sea breeze, or a cold front. These cause lift because they add cool air to the mixture. This experiment demonstrates how the warm air rises above the cooler air. The moisture from the warm air forms clouds and becomes unstable. A thunderstorm results. Eventually, the air stabilizes again when the warm and cool air balance each other out. In the same way, our water will become purple as the hot and cold water become warm and the red and blue mix together. If you missed last week's video, we'll put a link in the description as well as a playlist to the rest of our STEM Saturday videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and, and like this video. And make sure to subscribe to our channel. Comment down below if you like thunderstorms, yes or no. Do you like thunderstorms? Yeah. Why? Because when you have a plan, you can do anything you want, and that's how a thunderstorm is made. <laughs> Maybe we are making one inside. I mean, yeah. I mean done. That's how we made our thunderstorm, because we had a plan, right? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see it again? Yes. Well, this is not the proper way to wear goggles. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. How about this?